This short tutorial video displays the way of how to import SPICE files into ADS. As we understand, the SPICE is a very common format that vendors provide their component data and having the capability to import SPICE files into design and simulation software enables people to bring in various components inside their simulation software which may not be available in the default library of the software. Enjoy watching the video. Before learning how to import a SPICE file into ADS, let's spend some time in understanding what a SPICE file looks like for the sake of beginners. In this example, I'm using a SPICE file provided by analog devices, which can be downloaded from their website. And it is for their operation amplifier part number KD8235. Once we open a SPICE file into text editor, we can see the syntax of SPICE file, which is telling us the subcircuit of AD8235 is having these many pins and the meaning of those pins very clearly indicated in the SPICE file. Looking inside the subcircuit, it, we can also notice we, it has two AM subcircuits, AMP A and AMB, and they are connected in a particular format. So the nodal connections are shown here in SPICE file as well. If we scroll further down to the SPICE file, we can see the subcircuit definition of AMPE and the node names of these AMPE. Inside AMPE, there are some resistors and capacitors, as we can see here, connected in a particular fashion with appropriate voltage and you know parameter level. Once we scroll down further, we can see the subcircuit definitions of AMB and the terminal numbers of MB and the internal connection diagram of MB. So this gives us clear idea when we import AD8235 SPICE model into ADS, essentially there will be three main designs which will come out. One would be AD8235 and it will have subcircuits of MP and MB with some accessory components as displayed here in the SPICE file. Now let's switch over to ADS and see how this SPICE file can be opened and imported into ADS. I have opened a blank schematic and in order to import a SPICE file into ADS, designers can go to the option of File, Import and make sure the file type is selected as Netlist file. Now because SPICE is offered in variety of formats, we can go to more options and select the dialect in which the current SPICE file is being offered. In our case, we know it has been offered into PSPICE format. We can select PSPICE, which is the default options anyways, and we can browse to a file. I have kept a copy of this SPICE file into my project directory. And while, my, while I open to browse, it gives me the project directory. So here I have kept ad8235.sir. I can open this file. And once done, I can click OK and ADS will start the importing procedure. Once the import process is completed, I should see a successful message as shown on the screen. If there are any error or warnings, it will be displayed on this status window. As we can see, there are some warnings, but warnings are not none of our concern. The designers will be concerned if there is some error um, signified here in the properties dialog. Once the SPICE file is imported, we can see ADS has automatically opened the main design file, which is with the name of AD8235. If we zoom in, we can see there are two subcircuits being placed on this SPICE file, and as expected, they are MPA and MB. We can further push into these subcircuits to see the nodal connections as indicated in the SPICE file. Please note, designers will not be able to see the wire icons and, and components getting connected by wire because to keep it simple, ADS importer connects everything using these wire labels or node names. So we can see here in this particular operation amplifier, we have variety of MOSFETs and some capacitors and resistors and so on connected in a particular fashion as indicated by SPICE file. We can push back to our main design and if we zoom in near port area, it indicates the subcircuit port numbers and the names it is corresponding as per the SPICE file. So when a user places this, sub, this design as a subcircuit, 
the port numbers will appear on the symbol and then one we need to create a mapping table of identifying which port number belongs to which node name as per the data sheet of this component users are free to create their own custom sub symbol for this design in order to give a name which is can be easily identified by them or by their colleagues who are using this spice file for the time being we will leave it to another video of how to create a custom sub circuit symbol in ads so once our spice file is uploaded into ads we can open a fresh design and try to place this component as usable component inside another main design so here in the project hierarchy we can see we have three designs ada235 which is referring to the top level spice model and there are two subsequent sub circuits to ada235 we can open a new a schematic in ads and to place any component or any design as a sub circuit in a schematic there are variety of ways simplest of one is to drag and drop the component which is needed to be placed as a sub circuit so as can be seen a ghost image of the component is moving with my mouse and if i place it on a schematic it pretty much gives us the sub circuit symbol for a2 a235 component we can zoom in here on this component and we can see there are nine ports as indicated inside sub circuit and we can again push into this design to inspect which port number belongs to what component if we have created our own custom symbol for this design we would be very easily able to identify how these pin numbers correspond to the node names coming back to main design now this design is ready for simulation in ads and there are a variety of simulators available in ads which can be performed on this particular spice model Hopefully this will help new designers who are trying to learn how to bring these spice models into ADS for inclusion of their own custom devices for ADS simulations and their design purposes. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thanks very much for your attention.